Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial and in this Power BI tutorial I will show you how you can create the advanced chart or the animated race bar chart within Power BI. So first we will look at how the animated race bar chart looks like and what sort of scenarios you can really achieve with the help of this chart. And before I move ahead just a quick information that this spreadsheet is present in the description. So you can search any tutorial that I have posted and using the link which is in front of the particular chart or particular title is you can access directly from here. All right, so let's go ahead into the Power BI and see it in action. All right, so here we are within Power BI and what do we have is the, the bar chart which is a horizontal bar chart. And if I just start the animation, let me just make a small shift in this. It will start the animation. Okay, so that's basically showing you how the category or the sales are moving over a period of years, right? So it is starting from 2009 and across different years, how the sales for various province is basically moving up and down. And this is a very common type of chart uh, that you may have seen on various social media platform to showing you, you know, how the population of the country is moving or various countries moving over a period of years, how the production of, let's say, milk is something which is increasing or decreasing, or maybe, you know, it's about checking the immigration, how the immigration is changing over a period of time for all those scenarios where you need to showcase the change over a period of time among various categories, you will going to use the animated race bar chart. From a business scenario perspective, you may want to show that how the regions are moving over a period of years, like in the last 10 years, how each region has moved up or down, or maybe the product categories have moved up or down, or maybe the countries, if you have like various countries uh, sales, how do they have moved up and down uh, over a period of years. So just one thing uh, to keep in mind, like I said, if you need to show the change over a period of time uh, by moving the categories up and down, you will going to use the animated race bar chart. An animated race bar chart is usually not present in this. However, I am I have already configured it, so it's present here. but by default, what visualization you get within Power BI, you will not going to get it. For that, you need to make sure that you have the account. Uh, so right now I have my account and I have signed in into the Power BI and this has to be created with your corporate email ID. So I've used my official email ID to create it. So you need to use either your official email ID or there is a workaround if you can get the a custom domain email id right maybe your friend has a website or maybe your any contact has a website which has the custom domain name that can be used but if you are trying to log in with the help of the gmail hotmail or anything you will not be able to create the account that's the only restriction which which it has and the workaround i told you either use official email id or use the email id which is uh, maybe custom domain uh, that your friend or contact is having okay so how do we create it and before that how do we bring it so i'll just delete this and uh, let me write okay let me delete try to delete this so delete is not working but i can still go here and click on remove okay so to do that i need to go here in the get more visuals these three ellipses if you can see you need to click here click on the get more visuals and once we are inside the get more visual these this small pop-up window shows you the various categories where custom made chart is present so here you have like editors pick the pick which has been picked by the editor um, all the different charts and you have advanced analytics data visualization all the different categories which you can explore but the chart that we are looking over here is time because it shows the change over a period of time. So we'll click here on the time part and down there we should find the animated race bar chart and you need to click add. Once you will click on add, it will be added over here. So since I have already done that, my animated bar, bar race chart is coming here. Now there is a 
small thing you may be noticing is that tick sort of a you know facebook or twitter you may have seen that tick that means a verified account so here it means that it is a certified visualization that can be used within power bi so it's certified by the power bi team to use it within power bi however this one is not used and they have to go through a various parameters just to make sure that uh, your report or your uh, you know dashboard that you are making is, is not being impacted and there are several parameters that they need to complete before getting a tick just to make sure that it is a stabilized one but for now for our experiment we'll just move ahead and um, click over here animated race bar chart okay so if i just expand this now here i have name name is nothing but the categories so we can have region or province i took the province so i'll take the province again over here now the value value can be sales or profit earlier i took sales i can take the profit as well if i need um i can i need to choose the period so i'll take the order date over here and as i will have the period the lowest level is day so what it is showing you that uh, over a period of various days how the sales is but now day value is accumulated by the various values that we have like the year quarter month and day so if we need to change this up to a particular hierarchy like for example here simply we just have to cross this cross this and cross this so now you see the profit how the profit is changing showing you the ontario is basically moving up and down a little bit but still by the end of 2012 it's again up and down so this is the basic configuration but you have some setting over here and in the wish utilization setting what it's showing you is the top 10 values right so if you have top 5 top 10 top 20 you can change this also you have duration like 1000 is here we can change this to 5000 to basically see whether it is changing or it's it's like changing but it's very slow now right so we can experiment with this now you can see and this looks uh, easy when there is a shift in the categories and you need to explain it in front of an audience like alberta is moving up but now it's ontario is back quebec is moving very fast so if you need to explain to your end user you definitely need time to understand how the movement is happening not like on the 1000 where it is happening so fast that we can't even uh we can't even look that right can't you can't explain with that so i think 5000 seems to me a good uh good number to to basically explain it when you are showing it to the user also autoplay is on what should be the font size you want to hide any grid hide the number hide the period what should be the period size which you are showing over here all of these settings is something very useful and uh, you can easily create it so that's that's pretty much about how you can create the animated race bar chart within power bi and using any data that you want all right so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video with the new topic